Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about static electricity and we're going to use two animations from FET to help us to get a visual representation of what is happening. Okay, so first of all we've got John Travolta and he is going to rub his foot on the carpet. And as he does so, you're going to notice all these little blue dots. Those represent electrons. So as he rubs his foot, electrons from the carpet are transferred to his body. And you will notice that those electrons spread out. Why do they spread out? Well, they're all negatively charged and things that have the same charge don't wanna be right next to each other. So the negative particles will spread out because they will repel each other. So what we have here is what we call static electricity, which is the transfer of electrons often due to rubbing or friction. So this happens, um, you know, when you rub a balloon on your hair, you rub your socks on the carpet, um, sometimes a sock will stick to your sweater and the dryer. Those are all examples of friction causing electrons to transfer from one object to another. Now, it depends on the material. As you've experienced, certain types of materials are more likely to allow those electrons to transfer than others. Now, what do you think is going to happen if I let his finger touch the doorknob? Ouch. Zap. He got a shock. Okay. That's called static discharge. So all the overall negative charge that he had in his body transferred out through his finger and to the doorknob. So let's, let's build up his static electricity again. Now he has a net negative charge, meaning overall he's got a negative charge. However, when he touches a conductor, those electrons will flow out of his body. Now there's several things I like about this app, um, but there's also some things I don't like about the app. I don't like that it looks like those electrons are appearing out of nowhere. I wish they had drawn the electrons on the carpet to start with, so you could see that they were transferring from one to the other. The other thing I don't like is they don't draw in any protons. So you're kind of forgetting that there's another whole part of an atom that is not included in this diagram. So here we have another animation from FET. This one has, I like a little bit better right off the bat in that it has both positive and negative charges. So it's representing the entire atom and you can drag the balloon and rub it on the sweater. And you'll notice that as I rub the balloon on the sweater, the electrons are transferring from the balloon to the sweater. And you can actually see that process happening. Now, if I let go of the balloon with my mouse, you will see the balloon, which has an overall net negative charge, will be attracted to the sweater, which has a net positive charge because opposites attract in electricity. The thing I don't like about this is that those negative charges on the balloon really should now be spreading out to fill the balloon, just like they did on the John Travoltage app. Okay. Watch what happens when I bring a balloon to the wall. Let me do that again so you can see it. Now this is why balloons stick to walls after you've rubbed them on your head, okay? You'll notice there's no transfer of electrons, but the electrons that are already in the wall get pushed away. So they're getting moved away from the balloon because like charges repel. And since the balloon is mostly negative, it's going to push the negative charges away that are in 
the wall. What I don't like about this is that usually the electrons aren't going to leave completely. They would just get pushed to the far side of its atom instead of, you know, being randomly around that atom. The electron's just going to get pushed to the far side of that atom. Um, but overall, I think it's a really good animation. The other thing I can do about with it is I can have two balloons. And if I rub them both, I can show, it's a little hard to see, but you can see the green balloon and the yellow balloon pushing each other away because they are both net negative and have the same charge. So like charges repel each other, like the two balloons, where the balloons will be attracted to the sweater because the balloons have a net negative charge and the sweater has a net positive charge. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to find more videos like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.